Hey guys, it's Sash, and many of you guys probably heard of the new balance changes we'll be getting in a few days. The biggest change in my opinion is the Goblin Barrel, which is getting an elixir cost reduction from 4 elixir to 3 elixir, which in my opinion is a massive change. Previously, you wouldn't lose value if someone used arrows on your Goblin Barrel, but now you can evenly trade with it. Not only that, the normal goblins are 2 elixir, and we all know how good they are. And now for only one more elixir, you can deploy your goblins directly on your opponent's tower, bait their area damage spell card, and play some great mind games. The Goblin Barrel is gonna be amazing. So to commemorate this occasion and welcome the Goblin Barrel to possibly my top 10 card list after the update, I'll be bringing back two very solid Goblin Barrel decks. The first one is a deck created by Jordani, who was once one of the highest ranked level 6 players in the world. Using this deck with the Hog Rider and Goblin Barrel to pass 2600 trophies as a level 6. And uh, if you want to use this deck for Arena 4 and don't have the Zap spell, then just use Arrows instead. And if you have the Princess or Ice Wizard, then feel free to replace the Spear Goblins for them. And the other deck that I'll be sharing is my Super Solid Royal Giant with Goblin Barrel deck. Both of these decks are amazing on defense and offense. Okay, so let's do some battles with these two decks. First, the Hog Rider with Goblin Barrel deck by Jordani. So let's see, uh, we have the Goblin Barrel, Minion Horde, Fireball, and Spear Goblins. Okay, so we're gonna start off with some Spear Goblins. Once we have a full loaded bar, he's gonna go with his uh, Lava Hound. I'm not worried about that, we have the Inferno. He's gonna zap our Spear Goblins, so we can safely send out the Goblin Barrel now, can we? Nice, they're gonna deal a lot of damage against the Spear Goblins, which is obviously uh, not good enough. All right, here we go. Infernal Tower for his Lava Hound. And Arena Tower over there is going to finish off uh, the Spear Goblins. And now we're going to also add in the Minion Horde here to take out the Pups and also the Princess. There we go. And his Arrows. Doesn't matter. It's going to be too late by the time our Minion Horde takes out his Princess. Okay, um, let's see, let's see. We're going to go with, we're going to ready our Hog Rider with Spear Goblins next. So, right now. Hog Rider, Spear Goblins, and ready our Zap or Fireball. Let's see. Uh, he's got Barbarians. Okay, unfortunately, we're not going to waste our Zap. We're just going to get one shot. But now we know he has Barbarians. So the next time I make that push, I'm going to Fireball. All right, so let's see. Uh, barbarians, what we're going to do is pull them right here to towards the center with those power Barbarians. And let's see. We do know he's got Zap. So this time, we're going to angle our Goblin Barrel a bit towards over there. So watch this. He's going to send out his Lava Hound. And did you guys see that? Did you guys see that? He missed a zap spell. See, that's how you troll with the Goblin Barrel, guys. You guys can do a lot of fun mind games with it. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be crazy once it gets that elixir reduction to uh, three. It's gonna be crazy, guys. Um, let's see, he's got Princess over there. In that case, what we're gonna do is gonna go with the Hog Rider and then add in the Minion Horde. As you guys can see, the Hog Rider is distracting the Princess. And that's going to safeguard our uh, minion horde. And now we can send out our um, goblin barrel safely, but obviously we don't have it at the moment. But yeah, we can go for the three crown because uh, his king's tower is pretty weak at the moment. Um, let's go with barbarians at the back first. And right now, let's go with the goblin barrel because he just used his arrows recently. So we're going to use the goblin barrel here. And now he uses barbarians. Uh, he's got some spear goblins. Okay, uh, we're going to use fireball right here. We're going to use... Inferno, of course, for his Lava Hound. And let's see, he's got some minions over there. In that case, what we're gonna do is not. We're gonna zap all of that. We're gonna send our Spear Goblins for his Princess. Oh, they died. They couldn't take out the Princess. Okay, in that case, we're just gonna focus on the win. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna wait, 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 and now send out our Hog Rider. We're gonna send out our Goblin Barrel. And we're gonna zap all of that. And there we go, we're going to deal a lot of damage, and now we're going to finish him off with the Fireball. It's just that easy, guys. Good game. Okay, let's do one more with the Hog Rider Goblin Barrel deck, and then we're going to move on to the Royal Giant Goblin Barrel. Let's see, we got Zap, Minion Horde, Fireball, and Spear Goblins. Um, okay, start off with the Spear Goblins right here. He's going to go with the Ice Wizard on the other side. Okay, so I'm going to weaken his tower there, and he's going to go with some Goblins. Okay, now I'm going to throw in my Goblin Barrel. And let's see what he does. Does he have an area damage spell card? He's gonna use minions. Okay, nice. And let's see, let's see. We are then gonna send out our Hog Rider all the way at the back. And over there, we're gonna send out Barbarians. And the reason I threw my Hog Rider at the back over there is so that I can generate Elixir at the same time. And let's see. 
Hard Rider made it to his tower. Awesome. We're gonna zap his Ice Wizard tower at the same time. Get an extra shot. Nice. Look at his tower now. Down to 1068. Awesome. And here we're just gonna ignore his Ice Wizard. It's really not gonna do too much. Um, so let's see, we're gonna now send out our Spear Goblins again, chip away some more health off of that tower, throw in our Goblin Barrel as well now. So let's see, just weakening it, keep weakening it, awesome. It's tower down to 360, awesome. Um, okay, Barbarians, we're gonna go with the Minion Horde this time, and let's see, does he use an Area Damage Spell card? No, he doesn't! Okay, Infernal Tower, take his Royal Giant, yeah! <laughs> And uh, let's see, that minion horde is going to take his tower, nice, and his princess. He's not looking good at all. Um, let's see, let's see. We're going to go with... Let's go with... Do you want to go with the Hog Rider? Um, okay, yeah, let's go with the Hog Rider. Spear Goblin combo. And let's see what he does. Probably Ice Wizard. Yeah, Ice Wizard and some Goblins. Okay. Um, hmm. So we can, I did weaken his tower a bit, so that's good. Uh, now I just need to focus on defense because he's got that Royal Giant. That's his main push. Okay, nice. We can just fireball all of that. <laughs> nice. Uh, Princess will just send out the Barbarians. And here we go. He's got some minions. Um, in that case, we're going to send out Minion Horde as well. And uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. He's going to use arrows. Okay, now we can send out our Goblin Barrel Hog Rider. So watch this. Goblin Barrel, Hog Rider, and we're going to prepare that as well. Oh, no, we can't. Zap. We have to Fireball. Um, he's got that Princess as well, unfortunately. But there's only 27 seconds left. Um, hmm. Of course, he's got that Royal Giant, which we are going to use our Inferno. We're going to Zap to reset it, have it target our Inferno as our Inferno finishes it off. There we go. And here we're going to send out the Hog Rider to distract the Princess, but fail to do so on time. But we are still going to kill her with the minions. Okay, we're going to throw in the fireball right here. Take out both of those princess. And that's going to be game. Good game. Okay, and for the last battle, we're going to use our royal giants with goblin barrel attack. Okay, let's see. We have minion horde, fireball, barbarians, and the royal giant. Pretty good starting hand. Great defense for the minion horde and barbarians. We're going to start off with uh, the royal giant right here at the back. Well, not the back. At the center right here. He's going to go with uh, Goblins. In that case, we're going to wait a bit here and now place our Barbarians right here on top of all of that. And our Barbarians should be able to take out the Royal Giant. And we're going to send in our Fire Spirits to also help out. Now we have uh, the Royal Giant surrounded by Barbarians. He's in a lot of trouble. We have a very powerful counter push. As you guys can see right there, our Fire Spirits took out his, <laughs> took out his Barbarians right there. Awesome. And uh, dealt a lot of damage. Awesome. Fireball all those minions. Very good star. And let's see. Um, we do want to place a collector, but we do know he has a world giant ready, so it's going to be risky placing down our collector just yet. Okay, now we're going to place the collector. And let's see, does he go with the royal giant? Nope, he's going to place down his collector as well. Okay, in that case, um, let's throw in our goblin barrels. Test out whether he has an area damage spell card for us. So let's see. Um, the goblins, nice. So he's gonna lose his tower there, <laughs> just like that. And remember, guys, once you take down the tower with the royal giant deck, it becomes easier taking down the other tower. Uh, so let's see, we're gonna throw in uh, fire spirits for that, and now we're gonna use the barbarians to take out his royal giants over there. And on the other side, of course, he's neglecting defense on our royal giant, so our royal giant's gonna deal a lot of damage. We're gonna fireball the beating port. Royal giant is very bulky, so he's gonna get a lot of hits off of that tower. He's gonna also send out uh, goblins, okay? And let's see, let's see. Um, we have barbarians over there distracting both of his towers, so good opportunity to throw in our goblin barrel here. There we go. He's gonna use arrows. Of course, does not matter because now we can just place down our royal giant, and we know he's got barbarians, so we're gonna also ready our fire spirits. He's gonna go with his uh, royal giant. We're just gonna throw in our uh, barbarians for his royal giant, and we're just gonna weaken that tower on the left side. Um, he can have our tower on the right, doesn't matter. We'll give him that. But in return, we're just going to go for his tower on the left. Because our tower on the left is almost at full health. So right here, Goblin Barrel, of course, he's going to use arrows. And now we're going to send out the Royal Giant. And here we go. And that's going to be game. Um, 27 seconds left. He's got that Royal Giant. We're just going to use a cannon right here. And we're going to throw in some more Barbarians for that Royal Giant. 
There goes his royal giants. Nice. He's gonna take our tower, of course, but of course, does not matter. There's only 14 seconds left. We have a full, almost full health tower on the left. And uh, yeah, that's gonna be game. Seven seconds left. Uh, we can throw in the goblin barrel. We could have three pounds here, but that's gonna be game. Good game. So I hope you guys enjoyed those battles and also like the deck. Thanks for watching. Be sure to leave a like and also subscribe for more great daily Clash Royale content. I'll see you guys again soon. Later.